Guy and Matthew to talk before it rains. So we're gonna we're gonna get going fast. Again, my name's Ethan. I'm the one who's emailed a lot of you, so I want to thank you for. I want to thank you for coming out to join us. Uh, I want to introduce um, uh, Guy Kablinski here. He's the CEO and the co-founder of of ASCA, and we're really excited to unveil this. We're the first in the world to see this. So I'm gonna hand it over to Guy and Matthew here as well. Matthew here as well. Hi, good morning everyone. Uh, thank you very much for coming here. Really appreciate it. Um, I want to also thank very much for our team here, the ASCA team. Uh, been working very hard to make this day today. And thanks for all our supporters here that are here with us. So what we see here is a revolution that happened once in 100 years. So people were dreaming about flying car for years and building. And this is the first time what you see here is a drivable vehicle and vertical takeoff and conventional takeoff that can drive on the road and take off uh, vertically. We started this company about five years ago. Our background, me and Mark are working about 20 years uh, building companies. Our first company was in the defense. Our second company was IoT. And when we built the third company, we said we want to build something that impacted the world some technology that will change generation to come. It was, what, it was not the idea to build a flying car. It's a build technology that will reduce cost of living. That's what we want. It took us about five years being working on that very hard to find a configuration. We, we saw a lot of uh, configuration and we tried. A lot of them didn't work. But finally, what we see here is a configuration that is working. It's about 30% bigger than the production vehicle. And the production vehicle will be smaller than that. Come on, let me introduce Maki, my co-founder here. change from horses to buggy, the flying car is the next level of transportation. Uh, back in 1940, Henry Ford said, mark my words, combination of airplane and motor car is coming. You may smile, but it will come. Well, the day has come and flying cars are real. And you on the audience, you are the first to see the world's first full scale functional prototype of the ASCA drive and fly electric vertical takeoff landing vehicle, a real flying car. Thank you so much. So I want to take you to show you some of the feature uh, about this vehicle. So the goal, as we said, when we build a vehicle is to reduce the cost of living. So making that big statement reduce the cost of living, it's mean that we build it when we build new transportation we have to take care of two things. One is how we build a transportation, new transportation that we don't need a massive investment from the private sector. How we build transportation that we don't need massive investment from government. So that's why we have, as you see here, we have four wheels on this car aircraft that we have in-wheel motor. The in-wheel motors this uh, next generation EV car motors is the wheel inside, the motor inside the wheel. That giving us uh, two major advantages. First is driving on the road, but the very interesting, we can take off like the F-18 on a carrier. We can take off like Tesla is doing zero to 60 in two seconds. We can take off in about three seconds to four seconds using the large wing. So we need a very little power for running on the runway. Because very important when we design those kind of vehicles is the cost of energy. So when we do a vertical takeoff, it's pretty expensive in terms of energy cost. But if we run on a runway, and we have a very, very short runway, we can have a less than 250 uh, feet runway just using the wheel to take off. Second very important is about safety because 
this aircraft is not built for just people like to use it during the weekend. This aircraft is for the majority of people in the world to use it on a daily basis. And everyone is concerned is about safety. So, sorry. So this is what you see here is the first in the world aircraft that designed to have two energy source. That means that we it's a full electric aircraft. So we're running on the batteries. So and then we have a range extender. We have a generator in the back that's charging the battery all the time. The current battery, lithium battery that we are using, they're great, but we don't think the aviation is ready for 100 percent electric. We are it's a computer, it's something that we use on a daily basis, it's something that we put our children in. So we have to think about safety. Even if it's a little bit more penalty than we can have 100% electric, it's, yes, it's, it's, it's a little bit better in terms of greed, but safety is number one. So if we're losing the battery, we have a safe man with the generator. If we lose the generator, we have a safe man with the battery. So that is very important for us. In the future, we will replace the generator with a uh, fuel cell. We also have six propellers, as you can see here. Uh, two of the inner propeller and the back wing are tilted. Right now, we are in the flight mode. They are tilted to uh, vertical takeoff. They are tilted up. And here we have is a uh, is a four seater. We have a two passenger in the front and two in the back. We can use either two adults in the front and three kids in the back. That's also, but it's designed for four people, the vehicle. It's designed for the future, not in the beginning, but the future will be also autonomous driving on the road and it will be fully autonomous flying. Right now when we do the flight test, it is a full autonomous flying, but from certification point of view with the FAA, it will take time to get the approval to certify the autonomous flying in here. Here, uh, maybe later we can go in and see all the attached fin here that that uh, we have here in the back. Right now, we see that the vehicle is in a flight mode, but the wing are folding. This is our first prototype, so it's a little bit oversized. As I said, is the size of F-350. The production vehicle will be F-150. That's the size. I'm happy to get some questions from the audience. If you have, if somebody want to ask any specific question, we talk about we talk about um, certification process. But FAA went in the process of it. We will get soon the G1, so we're working. Uh, we get very strong feedback from the FAA. They like this aircraft because this is very safe. Because this aircraft, we don't need to use the terminals like in helicopters. We don't need, need to use the airport uh, infrastructure. So we are in the process of that. We are also part of NASA, the national campaign. NASA is uh, selected seven companies to develop the next generation aircraft and we are one of them and they selected other companies to build the air traffic management system so we're working so in the future all the traffic that you see will be much more traffic but it will be autonomous um, management we are planning to uh, start our flight test on this vehicle uh, q1 this year we're waiting for the FAA certification for the aircraft the current battery capacity? So the range that we are giving is a 250 mile, so including the generator, because our generator is about 50 to 60 miles. Okay, but the battery capacity? We're not releasing the technical data here. Any other questions? Uh, we have here also our simulator, so you can go um, on the simulator. You can see the um, the real size of how we going to be the production vehicle. 
uh, in terms of the topics. Okay. So, guys, thank you very much. Appreciate you coming in today.